part two, baby. We're back with another episode of Survivor Stereotypes. It's time to milk this series for all it's worth. So if you didn't see it, part one got a couple of views, you know. <coughs> I wanted the sequel to be better than the original, so I spent an exorbitant amount of time on this one. I don't think that's the correct use of that word. Keep in mind, this is just for fun. If you play Nia, you're probably not actually a massive- <coughs> That's just kind of your character's running joke. I will now transition you into the video. <coughs> now, I'd like to turn your attention to a recent change in the game that affected Lori players everywhere. Let us take a moment of silence to honor our beloved perk, Decisive Strike. This perk was friend to every survivor who wanted to stab those terrible tunneling killers in the back. Gone are the days of doing a gen in the killer's face and getting away with it, or unhooking a survivor in front of the killer with DS. Rest in peace, Decisive Strike. I won't miss you though, now that I think about it. This guy. This guy did all six of your gens, searched every chest on the map, unhooked all of his teammates twice, ran you around the map for two years, cooked a three course meal, went to the store to buy milk, and escaped through the hatch. All in the span of about three minutes. Good luck getting this guy killed. If you main Fang, chances are you're aware of her status as the S-tier waifu. This isn't an accident. Fang has some of the best skins in the game, making her a community favorite. I'm pretty sure Behavior's main source of income has been Fang Min skins since 2017. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talk! Here comes the money! Quintons are rare. In fact, I don't think I've ever met a person who mains Quintin. Our resident sleepy boy is a very overlooked survivor with somewhat underrated perks. Pharmacy can be better than self-care or inner strength when you need to heal yourself in a pinch. Vigil is only ever run with an exhaustion perk, but it gives you that sweet 8 second recovery on your sprint burst that just might save you. Wake up sucks. If you main Quintin, you're either a big Nightmare on Elm Street fan or an e-boy. Dispatch, this is Detective Tap. We have a 1031. Suspect is in hot pursuit. Please acknowledge. 10-4 Detective. 10-12 when you're 10-17. 10, 4, 10, 10 until backup arrives. 10-10 10, 10, Dispatch. 10-2. 10, 10-25 UE. Ten eighteen, dispatch, I'm dying out here. I don't think I have much longer in this chase, somebody help. I need backup out here. Ow. Ten ten, you sound fine to us. Suspect in main building, I have eyes on. I no longer have eyes on. Dispatch, I found the suspect. This is Detective Tap going in for the sickest save you've ever seen. Detective Tap, we have a 10-8 on this generator. 10-26 on this baby. 10-4, crush that baby. 10-23 has arrived. Dispatch, what is this backup? <laughs> I don't understand. 10-29, David. This is Detective Tap, I'm pretty sure we're all dead here. 10-4, good night, Detective. Alright, let's see what we have next. K Denson. What do Kates usually do? I can't think of a single stereotype for Kate. Well, when in doubt.
a forum post. I know all the rest of them have something about them, but as a lowly Kate Denson main, what stereotype do I get? Runs off and does not let you heal her. Waiting by the hatch, Yolo unhooks and gets mad if the killer tunnels. Kate tends to be played by degenerates. No offense, that's not aimed at you, of course. To be honest, Kate's they're mission oriented. I am try hard. I just my experience. I just don't think nobody's going to kill us. Kate's always going to go hard. I think they are cheap. Other than that, why is nobody else running to hook? I'm just stereotyping here, though. Mindset. Kate Denson doesn't have any stereotypes. They could be anything, honestly. There are only a few characters that earned their stereotype. Wait, you mean... You mean it's all a lie? What? Sexy. I often let her go. Unless she needs to be punished then. <laughs> no! Well, good job slogging through that train wreck of a video. I offer my condolences for the brain cells that were lost throughout that experience. And I appreciate you watching it in general. Thank you. Come again.